Hey Aussie Gamers, Luke One here and this video should show you how to update your internal storage for your PlayStation 4. First things first, go to PlayStation.com and you'll need to do this to download the update file to install onto your new hard drive. Firstly go to Get Help, then down to PS4 System Software. And when this system loads up, we'll need to go down to Related News and you'll click on Initialize Your PS4 System. Now this page here will tell you exactly how to download the update and put it onto a USB storage device. You will need the storage device to be formatted as FAT32. If it's not, the PlayStation 4 will not rec recognize it. So please do that. You'll need at least a gig. And on your storage device, you'll need to add a file called PS4. And inside the PS4 file, one that says update, as you can see. Then download the system software. Once you've done that, this is the file system, PS4, then inside update, you'll need the PS4 update.pup file, okay? And once you've done that, head across to your PlayStation system. Now, this has just been powered down, turn everything off, disconnect everything, and this is what you'll need. You'll need something like this, I've used the Seagate backup it's only a one terabyte chuck a two terabyte in if you can afford and if you've got a USB 3 one it'll become in handy you can use the shell for it later this is the actual hard drive itself I've already pried the insides out I'll show you inside I've taken out there and it's got the connector which you can connect the old hard drive into this is what the hard drive looked like that I pulled out of that casing you can buy them just like this if you like without the actual casings. Alright, so firstly to take the cover off, this is the section that comes off. Here's a what not to do. And it just pops off there. So what you do is you just slide it off and it will eventually come away. There's no screws or anything like that, it's just clipped on, that's it. Okay, now there is literally only one screw. It's that one big screw there. It's called the PlayStation screw for a good reason because it's got the PlayStation symbols on it. So using a screwdriver that fits correctly so you don't strip it, take that screw off and put it somewhere safe so you can put it back on later. Then you just grab the little tab and pull out. It's really easy. You shouldn't have to force this. If you're forcing it, you've done something wrong. Alright, so that's the hard drive. That's the 500 gigabyte hard drive that's inside the PlayStation from Standard. There are four black screws on the outside of the cradle. We just quickly fast forward through taking those screws off because that's boring and everyone knows how to do that. Okay, now the screws are off. I've taken it out. That's the old 500 gigabyte hard drive. Now I can keep that to the side and put it in the old casing and use that as a standalone external hard drive. Alright, so we've got the one terabyte slid back into the casing or the tray that the hard drive sits in for the PlayStation. Now it is simple as simple as putting those four black screws back in and that's boring so we will do a super fast forward through that as well. Okay, those screws are on now, so just making sure they're all accounted for. It just needs to be slid back in the way it came out, and once again, if you are forcing it, you have done something wrong. It is really easy. So grab that PlayStation screw. Let me just uh, show and focus on that so I can show you what I'm talking about. It has the X square triangle and circle on it. That's your PlayStation screw. Put that back where you got it from, and tighten it back up. And for Mr. and Mrs. Hulks out there, you don't need to give it all the power in the world. Just a little bit of torque, not too much. And done. Okay, well that's essentially finished. The installation is complete. Now all we do is put the casing back on, which has a billion fingerprints on it. Best way to do it, that's wrong. Put the back end in first. And then slide her in. Boom, she's in. All good. Alright, all that is needed for you to do now is plug it back in the way you had it before and plug in your USB into one of the USB slots on the front of the console. 
hold down the power button for a few seconds until you hear it beep twice that'll boot it into safe mode then once it gets into safe mode just follow the prompts you'll get a screen that shows you about seven different options you'll need to go down to number seven which says initialize ps4 reinstall system software choose that one follow the screen prompts and it will install the new operating system off that usb system that you prepared earlier once that's all done you'll be happy days install all your games again with a lot more storage space thank you very much for listening happy days goodbye